Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, the video you just saw was created by a good friend of ours by the name of Rick, who runs a YouTube channel called the Sandstone Research Center. And what he does, and this is some amazing work, time consuming but amazing, is he takes these compressed images, like the one that you're seeing here. This is actually from a recent, uh, one of the most high resolution recent images snapped of Pluto as the New Horizon spacecraft uh, came to its closest approach. And so basically NASA sends back these photos in a compressed state in order to save on time. And what Rick does, who has, by the way, 20 plus years of experience working in restoring photographs and working with a 3D rendering software and 3D environments, has taken this degraded, compressed image and stripped it down, all the way down to pretty much ones and zeros, after which he then takes the original pixels only and rebuilds them in a 3D environment. And as you're seeing, uh, there are some very anomalous structures on the surface of Pluto that NASA has been trying to hide from us. And another interesting thing, and I agree with him on this, that Rick has spoken about is the fact that NASA gets very tricky in the way they give us these photographs. And I've seen this happen with a lot of moon photographs where we'll look at these photographs and they just won't look right of the lunar surface. They, they look odd, almost as if they've been flipped upside down and inverted. And Rick explains that that is exactly what they do. And a lot of uh, images from NASA, especially of planets, they will take the original image and they will flip it upside down and in some cases invert it. Uh, and even in some cases, create a fake horizon line, as if you're looking at the edge of the planet as it meets space, when in all actuality, it's not the real horizon line. So NASA uses all of these techniques to try to hide the structures that are on the surface, so it does take some photographic skills to get down right to the original image, and, and that's what Rick has done here, and has done in numerous videos, which are on his channel and I want all of you guys to head over there and subscribe after this video because he does some amazing work here and we'll show you some other videos that he's done of the moon and Mars in just a second so he took this image from Pluto high resolution image of its closest approach uh, and he stripped it down to the original pixels put them in a 3d environment to give us this beautiful 3d rendering of the surface and as you can see and I want you to draw your attention first to and as you've probably already focused on when we played this the first time was this massive crater here that looks to be filled with these rings of what look like tall rectangular buildings or structures of some sort I mean that is simply mind-blowing and you'll also notice and you guys have probably found more stuff than I've seen so far is that there's a lot of tall building like structures on the surface here and a lot of these structures directly correlate to structures that we found on the moon and on Mars and other bodies in the solar system. All of these things link together. All you have to do is watch our past videos or do the research on your own and you will see that there are a lot of matching anomalous buildings that you will find on completely separate planets and moons. And what Rick has done here is he's uncovered what NASA has been trying to hide. Uh, in creating and putting his 20 years of photo restoration work to a good use, you know, fighting for the truth when, when we have these space agencies who are giving us these doctored images, compressed images, and the brightness and contrast have been messed with, and the, a lot of the times the images have been flipped upside down and backwards, so you have no idea of perspective or relativity when you're looking at these images. You just don't know what you're looking at. You don't know the angle you don't know what you're seeing and NASA has perfected their technique over the years and you know Pluto is a very strange planet we've done videos about it before but there's not a whole lot of information and data on Pluto because we're just starting to get these high resolution images however we have found structures on the surface we recently did a video where we had found this massive this massive triangular shaped building sticking up over the horizon of Pluto as you're seeing here you know this is a dwarf planet that's on the, the outskirts of the solar system and um, in my opinion would be the perfect place for a base to exist or or for some activity to be happening it's farthest away from the planet and 
It's one of the least spoken about or scrutinized planets in our solar system. We, we hardly ever get to mention Pluto because we just don't know much about it. So again, amazing video here, looking at Pluto in real 3D and seeing these structures. You know, watch this video a few times, I guarantee you, you'll find some more structures every time you've watched it. It's, a, it's amazing work, and here's some other footage that Rick has done of the moon. Uh, he's, he's done these beautiful videos of not only up close areas of the moon, but uh, of, of the entire moon, as you're seeing here. And um, it's just awesome work. And we will definitely be utilizing uh, Rick's work in future investigations because he knows what he's doing and he has a good grasp on the techniques that NASA is using to dilute these images so we don't see what's really there. And here's another video he did uh, on Mars showing the Valles Marineris, the huge Grand Canyon stretching across Mars' surface that is as long as the United States. And uh, you just look at the quality here. It's, uh, it's just fantastic. So again, let me know what you guys think. Pluto is uh, uh, very mysterious. Here's another image we did a video on uh, showing what looked like some sort of big black life form moving across the surface, uh, uh, moving along these trails that seem to be cut into the ice on the surface. And um, yeah, you guys be the judge. And uh, again, big thanks to Rick for what he's done. Let me know what you guys think of this amazing footage here. And uh, on another note, Today, well, earlier last night, we reached 400,000 subscribers to the channel. And I just want to give a big thanks to all of you guys for all of your help and your confidence and, you know, all of your questions, concerns, criticisms, even downright hate, which, you know, it, I take it all in and it helps me to create a better channel for you guys. And, um, you know, this is a tough subject to research. There's a lot of disinformation out there. And there's a lot of other YouTubers out there who are polluting this research with nonsense. So I've tried to develop a, an eagle eye to filter out the nonsense on the channel. And um, with your guys' help, I know we'll, we'll continue to do so. So big thanks to all of you guys. It's a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, we'll keep it going. So let me know what you guys think. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe on your way out. Head over to Rick's channel. Give him a like on his original video and subscribe to his channel. He's doing some amazing work. So stick around. We've got a lot more coming, and we'll see you back soon. Stay safe, guys.